Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see that is a VIT triple E examination all of an important uh, topic or we can say or else a easiest topic that which are been uh, always uh, coming in the examination these topics are uh, not damn easy and uh, you can uh, complete uh, within uh, 15 days because as a few or four days are left for a uh, VIT triple E examination so just uh, try to complete in these 15 days and uh, you'll be able to score a good amount of uh, marks and able to crack a VIT group of institute and uh, you'll be able to join this off top of the institute so uh, let's look out the important topics and uh, if you are new to this channel please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos let's get started and look uh, completely here i have a uh, complete the uh, syllabus of an uh, vit triple examination and uh, i have marked a few of an uh, important topics that you should be looking out it and a uh, few of an uh, topics that you should be skipping because there has a few of a uh, time are being left and uh, you if you haven't uh, done it till uh, now any preparation then uh, start from now uh, just refer this uh, all the important topics and you will be able to crack a vit triple examination and uh, this vit triple examination is an easiest exam because it would be a formula based so in this uh, you should be maintaining a proper timings and uh, rest, uh, your speed and consistency should be there so let's look out uh, which way topic you should be looking so first we come to the physics by physics part that is uh, now we have uh, 35 questions in that uh, the whichever the I have been highlighted part that is an uh, important topic because uh, these are uh, uh, just a formula based uh, questions are being asked and uh, in the physics uh, just uh, try to remember all the formulas so in physics what you need to do is uh, try to remember all formulas because uh, in physics uh, mostly it must be a formula based uh, only so just try to remember all these uh, formulas and uh, you will be easily able to get so here are all the content and then and uh, this uh, pdf you will be getting in a video description link so you can uh, check it out and download it from there and prepare according to it uh, here we come to the next topic that is electrostatics in this uh, just uh, try to revise these topics only and rest you can skip it because there's a few of a time left just uh, read all those content and uh, try to solve few of questions you will be ready to go for your examination and uh, current electricity also you can look out there these are and a few of uh, topics that i have been marked and uh, these are an easiest topic that you can do it and uh, from here this uh, current electricity is an easiest topic you can expect three to four questions have been uh, always coming in vit triple examination just prepare this much and you'll be ready to go then a magnetic effect of a current also this is also an easiest topic so here also two to three questions have been uh, generally asked just prepare this all the highlighted part topics you are ready to go similarly uh, this uh, sixth chapter that is an uh, electromagnetic induction and ac so ac also this uh, this is a much of a uh, part in there also few of uh, questions have been there that is a uh, almost a uh, two question you can expect and uh, one or two questions from this um, electromagnetic induction these are also formula based and a little bit theory are there just try to revise uh, all the theory content you'll be ready to go for this and uh, in optics uh, if you are uh, generally liking an optics and uh, you are uh, much uh, try to remember this all the formulas of these optics because thin lens formula spherical lens formula the combination of things thin lens in contact so try to remember this all the formulas if you are able to or else uh, you can leave it because uh, this will be taking much of time and this is a vast chapter so try to remember formula and practice few of a question you will be ready to go and uh, generally i'm saying that uh, view optics are uh, few of an student feel uh, hard and if you aren't able to prepare and uh, just uh, don't waste of time just leave it because it would be taking much of time and you don't prepare any of the thing now main and easiest topics which come that is a uh, this dual nature of a radiation and, and atomic physics these are an easiest topic uh, here there will be an a theory and all all kind of uh, stuff just uh, revise it you'll be ready to go similarly for the nuclear physics also uh, just here you need to remember few of fine uh, formulas that is uh, the spinning energy stability of isotopes isobar and all kind of content this is also an uh, easiest topic just try to remember this all the content you would be ready to go and uh, nuclear physics also important topic so from this uh, chapter 8 9 and 10 you can expect uh, a minimum of uh, uh, 8 to 7 questions from it 
because this is an easiest topic and uh, it is a formula based topic so you can just prepare this much topic and uh, you are ready to go just practice more and more questions and uh, try to remember all the formulas because in physics if you are able to remember all the formulas then you will be easily able to crack a VIT triple examination and it is a easiest examination just uh, try to prepare all the formula you are ready to go and similarly for this also the green highlighted part is also much of an uh, important and this is an easiest topic you can just uh, prepare uh, within a one hour or two hours and practice for 30 minutes or 40 minutes a few of questions you will be ready to go these are an easiest topic you can do it so if you require any of our material then you can check out our sponsor link that is an physics wala so physics wala is a one of our platform which help our students to prepare for any competitive examination that is a JEE and a need which is also in an affordable price and now it provide one of the best quality content so you can check out and you will be also able to um, get off and a few of our resources and all the kind of materials a link would be given in the video description you can go and check it out and uh, if your friends or any relative or any family member require this uh, coaching or else uh, want to prepare for a competitive exam uh, they can uh, go and use my uh, link in the video description if you purchase any course uh, from my link then you will be getting a 10% discount so it is a one of the great and you'll be getting a discount so you can purchase and uh, check it out link would be given in the video description so now we have come to the major part that is an a chemistry so in this a chemistry it is an a scoring subject also or else you would be losing a few of our marks because in chemistry there are mostly theory and a few of our numericals are there if you aren't able to remember much of a theory then you can leave it but you need to focus more on physics and maths and in this chemistry you must be focusing much on numericals part if you aren't able to prepare theory then only if you are able to prepare a theory then it is an a one of our best chance and you would be scoring a much of a higher number because in chemistry there will be an adjuster from all the content for be from a textbook only and all the question would be from your ncrt textbook so try to refer to thoroughly ncrt textbook you would be easily able to crack and solve the all the kind of numericals so please refer a textbook very well but i have also marked in a few of an important topics which consist of numerical and a little bit of theory if you prepare this also then you will be also able to score a decent of a score in a chemistry and you will be doing a well and the rest uh, other topics you can skip it because uh, you will be just uh, wasting of uh, your time so coming to the topic that is the first atomic structure in this uh, i have marked this a uh, green topic one which are in a few of a numerical type and a uh, little bit a uh, concept of a uh, concept so try to revise this and uh, practice some uh, one or two co two questions and uh, you'll be able to get a feel that how the questions are asked and then you'll be easily able to do so try to solve this much of your uh, questions and uh, you'll be ready to go then coming to the next part that is uh, uh, this topic uh, if you are uh, able to prepare all the theory and content then you can read it but it would be taking a lot of time and uh, first try to cover major of a topic which i have been highlighted then you can uh, if you have time then you can cover it so i wouldn't suggest or recommend it to read all those content because you would be just wasting of your time then comes there is a coordinate uh, chemistry in this also introduction and uh, this whole content uh, you can read it but uh, it would be taking uh, much of time just uh, uh, prepare IUPAC nomenclature very well uh, many of our questions are being asked and uh, every other questions have been asked so you can uh, just uh, easily do it then coming to the part that is the thermodynamics in this also there will be any numericals and uh, this are an easy numericals just you should be understanding concept and uh, all formulas you must be knowing so this also you will be able to do so prepare thermodynamics and uh, do very well then electrochemistry also it is mean uh, easiest topic uh, try to prepare all those uh, formulas and a uh, content uh, and uh, this is a uh, corrosion and prevention this is a uh, theory topic so you can look out it from a textbook and prepare very well so you'll be ready to go then isomerism in organic chemistry so these are and uh, complete uh, all the topics of an uh, organic chemistry and uh, organic chemistry i wouldn't recommend it to read all the content at uh, any moment just try to revise uh, all the uh, textbook content of an ncrt you would be ready to go but uh, don't focus much of a time if you aren't uh, good at uh, organic chemistry you would be just wasting your time but if you re read this all those uh, content then uh, you would be easily able to solve the question but uh, you will be taking a lot of time and you haven't prepared it or anything so you wouldn't able to crack that much so my suggestion would be that uh, skip this all the topics because uh, you wouldn't able to practice or uh, much able to do during this examination time period so just uh, this is an important topic there is a 
carbohydrate amino acids and lipid part in this also you can expect uh, around three to four questions because this is an important topic and easiest topic in the chemistry so try to read this much content you will be ready to go now the major part that comes that is an uh, in that is an uh, english and english and a uh, much of an uh, important because uh, many of a candidate who doesn't prepare up uh, well in uh, english and uh, they used to tend to lose much of a uh, marks in the english because uh, english has a uh, five questions and uh, they do not practice so what you need to do is that uh, just uh, revise a previous year paper so download a previous year paper from a various website or else you can check out our sponsors also so that you will be getting a various a previous year question paper from that uh, try to solve a english question so from that you will be getting idea that this type of questions are there and whether i am able to solve or not so just in english try to solve previous year question paper then coming to the aptitude part also so aptitude part also the year there have been a 10 questions that is uh, you need to do and 10 questions here are topic just uh, what you need to do is uh, check out a few of our videos on youtube that how all the content are there and if you require any for material related to aptitude part uh, you will be getting in the videos uh, description one of our link so you can go and uh, check it out from there or else, or else uh, you will be getting in a comment also so just um, if you in case require any material then i have much of a content so you i will be sharing with you so try to solve all this uh, type of uh, numericals and practice much because uh, this consists of a uh, 10 marks and a major of when uh, students used to doesn't used to practice aptitude part and they used to load so you have uh, already a uh, 15 uh, marks in your hand just because of english and aptitude you will be easily able to score so you should be practicing very well and uh, do a uh, well in english and aptitude part uh, coming to the biology part that is a biology part uh, it is a theory type of content and uh, what i would be suggesting you all is that uh, try to revise a previous year paper so previous year paper uh, revise all the content of a previous year paper that how the questions have been asked how the examination questions have been there so from that you will be getting idea that this uh, type of uh, questions have been asked and uh, try to solve various uh, various uh, questions from a different uh, questions book or else uh, you can uh, look out at question bank that how the questions have been asked so because of biology part all the theory content are there so you need to prepare according to it now coming to the main part that is a uh, mathematics and in mathematics uh, you'll be getting a uh, 40 questions in 40 questions uh, i was uh, highlighted the important topic that is and uh, uh, which are been uh, easiest topic and uh, once you will be practiced you will be able to do uh, so matrix and the application part you need to prepare very well it is an easiest then in trigonometric and complex number also uh, just to revise all the formula and the content you will be ready to go uh, this uh, coordinate geometry i would and suggest you to read all those content just uh, what you need to do is uh, revise all formula uh, whatever the formulas are there in a coordinate uh, geometry just uh, revise all the formulas you will be ready to go and uh, practice few of a question but uh, i wouldn't suggest uh, practice first just uh, try to complete in uh, n moment of time so once you complete uh, all those content practice in n moment of time or else uh, you can leave it also no issues then one of any easiest thing that's come that is a vector algebra vector algebra is a easiest question two questions you can expect so prepare very well and uh, do well then this is also a formula based questions uh, you can expect two or three questions from this and uh, all the formulas you should be remembering very well in this uh, geometry of a three dimensional so this is a formula based easiest questions have been accessed uh, you need to apply a formula and uh, you'll be able to get answer so prepare well this is an easiest topic then coming to the part that is a differential calculus in the calculus if a limit continuity and differential function you are able to prepare then you can prepare it or else uh, you can leave it also because uh, it would take much of a time but uh, try to prepare this application tangent normal and angle between cut curve if you are able to prepare or else you can look out this um, increasing decrease and, and maximum minima just you need to do uh, do a differentiation and uh, you would be able to get so this is an easiest topic just uh, look at uh, once you can expect one question from it and it is uh, easiest to solve 
then similar for the integral calculus also if you are able to do integration then uh, you would be able to do this uh, question that is the area of bounded region and length of curve if you aren't able to do integration properly then uh, practice integration first then uh, do this area of bounded region because this is an uh, easiest topic just you need to do integration and you will get answer and uh, here you will be expecting two questions from it and uh, which are uh, easiest to solve so try to do the, do this because it is a one of an uh, important topic and one question you will be getting from the finite integral and an indefinite integral so two questions are being there then coming to the main part that is a uh, differential equation here also there will be a uh, formula based question so here also two questions have been asked and one with that will be it e easiest question just formula based so you can do it and other thing that is a uh, probability probability is also an easiest topic just uh, prepare all and uh, practice questions so you will be ready to go probability is an easy topic you can do and this variance and mean and standard deviation formula try to remember and uh, do remember it and just study it and go then sets and relation function just formulas and uh, little bit theory concept you should be knowing it sequence and series apgp also you, if you are able to prepare just prepare formula or else you can skip the part then binomial theorem also same uh, if you are able to prepare you can prepare or skip now coming to the most of an important topic that is uh, this topic that is a mathematical logical the statement connectivity truth table logical equivalence and tautologic part very much important topic and you need to prepare it because you know when you will see any competitive exam two questions minimum you will be getting in your examination so try to prepare this uh, part and uh, you can refer uh, various uh, youtube's video also or else uh, previous year question paper also there have been a uh, various uh, numericals have been given so try to refer all the previous year question paper these are an easiest topic and one of uh, haven't prepared anything but uh, just to prepare this topic then you will be able to easily crack this topic and one of the easiest thing so try to prepare this much and uh, you will be ready go so this was an, a complete uh, general view of an uh, suggestion and uh, whatever you should be preparing and what all not you should be preparing in your examination and uh, one more advice i would be like to give that is uh, uh, do not leave any of the mcq means that if you doesn't have any time or uh, you wouldn't know anything just uh, randomly tick any of the option and come because just a uh, randomly ticking of an any option and if you have a uh, luck then it might be a right also or else if you wouldn't do anything then it might be a wrong also so here uh, have two possibility and if you doesn't know any of our question then you can just uh, randomly tick and come and uh, that's advice for you all and uh, you can check out our physics wala course also link is given in the video description that's pretty much advice for this video and uh, comment down all your doubts or query whatever you have and uh, see you in the next video till that time keep learning keep exploring